guys, Cassie here. Now listen, when you're in a rut, when you're feeling sluggish, when you haven't seen results in a while, the last thing you wanna do is get up and move. I get it. You don't wanna do something that feels like suffering, especially if you're not gonna see progress. But you know how there's some people who get up before the sun rises to work out? Where do they get that motivation from? Were they blessed with some special disciplined genes or can you actually train your brain to crave working out? Well guys, I'm here to tell you that much like how you can train your muscles to lift more weight, you can indeed train your brain to crave fitness. And I've got some tricks that'll jumpstart your process, but before we get into the tricks, let's first understand how the brain works. The brain is naturally wired to minimize effort as a way to conserve energy for human survival. Pretty much, the brain sees things as either a threat or a reward. Working out is unfortunately perceived as a threat because it takes a lot of effort. I mean, we know that, right? So it makes sense psychologically why most people naturally don't wanna work out. So how do we turn working out into a reward? Well, we basically have to find a way to counter all the reasons why the brain thinks working out is a threat. So here's how you do that. First hack, in order to trick our brains into thinking that working out is not a threat, we can't exercise in ways that scare us. Like if you haven't worked out in a while, do not jump into a CrossFit class or do a million burpees. Your body and your brain both need some warming up. Start with something easier, something more pleasant, something you actually like. Working out should never be something that you hate, but rather something that you love. If you love walking your dog, that counts. If you love dancing in your bedroom, that counts. Begin to give yourself credit for movement and your brain will begin to link your feelings of happiness with the activity you're doing. It is extremely important to make sure that an emotional positive relationship is created between working out, your brain, and your body. If it's not positive, your brain will still see working out as a threat. Second hack, we need to trick our brains into thinking that working out is low effort. But how is that even possible? I mean, if you're on a treadmill for an hour, I would have to agree that that is deaf torture. But if you're on a treadmill for an hour catching up on your fave TV show, it's no longer as torturous, is it? Exactly. It feels less torturous because you are distracted from the pain. In fact, you're probably looking forward to seeing what happens to your favorite characters, which then tricks your brain into thinking it's looking forward to the workout because you've now linked watching your fave show with being on a treadmill. If you follow the logic, you can see now that the brain will perceive the treadmill as a reward instead of a threat. Third hack. Another way to link positive experiences with working out is to invite your friends to work out with you. Social interactions are generally rewarding when it's with people you love and care about. So this is why this works. If you decide not to show up for a workout and leave your friends stranded and alone, your brain will view that as a threat because you're being a bad friend. So what does it want you to do? Your brain will tell you that you need to show up to support your friend or else your friendship will be threatened. So what happens is you probably would never dare skip that workout. Fourth hack, our brains crave rhythm and routine. Think about this. If you scheduled a date with your significant other or you booked a doctor's appointment, you wouldn't miss it, right? Same goes for your workout. You need to schedule your workout into your calendar, your planner, and your phone. You need a date, you need a time. Be specific because if you're not, your brain won't understand why your workout is such a big deal and won't view it as a threat when you miss it. What I'm saying is give your workouts the importance it deserves. And the more you schedule your workouts at the same time every day, the more your brain views it as a habit. And guess what? Once you form a habit, it becomes less effort to maintain that action because your body and your brain become used to it. It expects it. The good news is that your brain can get addicted to new rewards really easily. A new study in the European Journal of Social Psychology shows that new habits can be formed within a month and very few take take more than 66 days. So with all of that said, I have a little surprise for you and your brain. You know how I said that in order to trick your brain into craving workouts, you need to link positive things and happy feelings with working out? Well, I'm so excited to share with you the one tool that is going to jumpstart everything for you. Are you ready to see the brand new 2020 Fit Planner? You guys, this year's Fit Planner has its very own box and um, we're gonna do a little unboxing today. I've never done that before, so I thought this would be fun. Uh, the reason why the 2020 Fit Planner has a box is because we wanted to make sure that your cover and the edges would be all protected, whether we're shipping into a different country or literally next door. Are you ready? Okay. 
you guys. We're gonna open this box. Look at that. There's like little designs on all of the sides. It is so, so cute. Okay, so imagine yourself receiving your box for the very first time, and you're just gonna open it up, and look what it says. This is the beginning of everything you want. And you guys, the first box wasn't your only box. There is another box inside. <gasps> and this is the one that you for sure, for sure, for sure have to keep. It is your keepsake box. So let's take that out. Oh, you guys, look at how beautiful this box is. I could just die looking at this box and look at the back. It says Blogilates and it's in holographic gold. Gold is the metal and the color of the year for us. Look at these girls all across the front being active and cool. They represent you guys. And now are you ready to see the cover of the 2020 Fit Planner? Are you ready? This is the best cover, the best planner, functionally, aesthetically, everything that we have ever made. I'm so proud of it. If you don't like it, I don't even know who you are. So. Let's go ahead and open this. And, oh, oh my gosh, you guys, look at, oh, it has its own little house. Look at how cute this cover is. It matches the box and it says 2020 Fit Planner in holographic gold. I can't. And it's got a sparkly gold elastic band. If you guys are new to the Fit Planner world, let me just tell you that if there's one thing you wanna invest in to get organized, to get like planned and ready and to strategize for the new year, it is this planner right here, okay? This is your life coach, your personal trainer, um, your motivator, your meal tracker, your water tracker, your sleep tracker, like literally everything, your mood tracker, all in one and all so pretty too. Okay, so let's look inside. All the tabs are laid out by month, so it makes it really easy to flip between months. So in the beginning of the planner, you have all of your goal planning. This is really important to do as soon as you get your planner and while you're waiting until January 1st to actually fill in your first um, daily page. This is January and we start off every month with your habit tracker. So you have a space where you can write things like, okay, I want to, I don't know, wear moisturizer every day, or I want to stretch every day for 10 minutes. You write that here, and then every day that you do do it, you give it a check or you color that box in. So by the end of the month, you can see, okay, how well did I stick to that habit? And like I said in the video, it takes about a month for you to really turn a habit into a lifestyle. And that's why habit tracking is really, really important illustrations oh my god you guys the illustrations are so so beautiful every single one of these illustrations was drawn by our graphic designer Brittany who spent so much time and love and care um, she put everything her entire soul into designing this planner for you guys and I'm excited for you to appreciate all of the illustrations throughout this planner so this year we wanted to add more fitness elements into the Fit Planner. So every month you'll have a monthly body check-in. These are optional, of course. However, um, it's great if you are into numbers, you're into analyzing, and you just wanna see how you're progressing towards your goals or if you're not. Big spaces for you to plan out your month and your appointments. And this page is something that a lot of people had uh, very opinionated ideas about. You wanted the weekly spread, you didn't want the weekly spread, but what we decided was that, you know what? We're gonna do the weekly spread because I think the more ways we can get you guys to get organized, the better. We actually separated it into morning and then evening, so you can write in your times for the things throughout the week. Plus, on the side here, you have your grocery list. Now, the daily pages. You've got a mood tracker. I want you to color in the face that you're feeling that day. Maybe you weren't happy, maybe you're okay or meh or like, oh, I'm kind of happy or like just totally bouncing off the walls. Fill it in because your mood, um, you'll see that there's a correlation between what you're eating, how much you're drinking, how much you're sleeping and your mood for the day. And because this is an everything planner, your to-do list. Every week you have a weekly challenge. So there are 52 challenges throughout the year. Make sure you actually try to do them. Oh yes, and there is a spot for today's workout because like I said in the video, you better be scheduling your workout. So right here, I want you to put what you're doing and what time you're doing it. Be intentional with how you want to move your body. At the end of every single month, there is a monthly recap. This is your journaling time. This is extremely important because if you don't take time to reflect on 
how you did, if you reached your goals, if you missed them and how you felt, then you kind of just move on with life and you're not grateful or appreciative of all the work that you put in. Write it down because when you look back into your journal, into your fit planner, you'll get a really clear picture of who you were at this moment in time. And I love saving my planners because you know you grow as a human being throughout the years and every planner tells a different story. This year we added in fun, healthy recipes with pictures. And I'm just gonna show you some of the artwork here. That's Feb, May, so groovy. June, ugh, ice cream, wait, this, this, I need to interrupt this. You guys, this year, because I love the planner so much, I wanted to go super crazy all out and like really just give you like Fit Planner 2020 family members. I did something special. We made a matching ice cream enamel pin. Oh my God, look at that. Ah, oh, it's like it had a baby. You guys, I love pins so much. So we decided to make three this year to match the planner. You can put them on your sweater, on your backpack, on your jacket, wherever. But since we're here and we're talking about family members, you guys, I know you're gonna ask if there are stickers. And duh, of course there's stickers. Let me show you. Stickers, yay! Okay, stickers make life so much more interesting and so much more fun. I just love stickers. This year's sticker set has over 390 stickers. They're um, fun ones, you know, like uh, the, a sriracha bottle, but then there's some functional stickers. Now, speaking of more family members, I have one more, you guys. Are you ready? Ta-da! You guys, the planner has a matching wall calendar and I am dead. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that, it's like we planned it or something, you guys. And also this wall calendar is made of thick cardstock, so it's not some flimsy, uh, cheapo calendar. It's actually very great quality, so that if you want to save your calendar, which I do all the time, and kind of cut it off, and you can even frame it and make it artwork because it is. So you guys, I hope you decide to get the 2020 Fit Planner. This year we worked so hard on it. We put so much love and care and time and proofreading and everything into this planner. We took every single one of your reviews on poplexactor.com, on Instagram, in our DMs, and read through them and decided, okay, like, does that make sense? Should we implement that? Should we get rid of this or not? And I can assure you that this is the best planner I have ever made. Actually, when was the first Fit Planner that I made? I don't know, like 2013 or whatever. We are now at 2020, and this, hands down, is the best Fit Planner you will ever find anywhere. And you guys, do not throw away the box, okay? Like, I am a box hoarder. I love boxes and bags, and this one is a forever keeper, okay? Like, put your jewelry in there, put your photos in there. Like, literally just put stuff in here and never throw it away, because if you do, I'll be so mad. Keep your box. How could you ever throw it away? Head over to poplexactive.com right now and choose one of the combo packs. You can get this alone or you can get it with everything in the Ultimate Fit Kit. And obviously, the more of a bundle you get, the more money you save, because, you know, how it works, okay? And oh yeah, and we ship international there because there's popsters all over the world and I wanna make sure that you get your Fit Planner in time before January 1st hits because you know, when 2020 hits, we're gonna go so hard, you guys. We're gonna go harder than we have ever gone before, okay? So remember food, baby? Remember call me maybe squats? Remember extreme abs? Oh yeah. We're gonna go harder, and I know that's what you want. So get your planner, let's prepare, and I will see you in the next video. Love you so much, guys. Bye.